Yeah, great question. And just if, so the viewers know, I'm not really a crier. So that was kind of a big deal that I was hunched over one of my friends sobbing in the bathroom. <laughs> and that was a breaking point. It was, uh, it was practically a breakdown. So to answer your question, those signs, um, I think number one, Liam, is what is your health doing? You know, both your, your, your body health and your emotional health, mind health. I was watching myself get more and more migraines, which was a result of not gaining enough sleep and stress um, and getting snappy with my family. Uh, I see other entrepreneurs who are constantly sick over and over and over again because they're, they're doing too much, especially entrepreneurs who have the side hustle. You know, they just feel like they need to push and push and push. They're, they don't have focus. They're all over the place. And that constant illness is a real sign that you are at a breaking point. You've got to make some kind of decision because that's not working and you're not going to be able to work and you're not going to be able to run your side hustle when you finally hit that breakdown or, you know, and then some of the other signs, I mean, th those are kind of negative signs, but some of the other signs is are how much money are you making in your business? sit down and create a money plan for the next year. And that money plan, seeing those numbers in front of you will tell you whether or not you can do it. And it also will tell you what you need to do to get to that point, you know, and sometimes numbers can feel scary to people, but when you have the, just grab a friend who's smart with money and sit down with them and say, I want to make this plan. What do I need to make this work? So, you know, those, those other signs, um, can also include what's going on in your relationships. I was just going to say that um, with, with the, you know, you kind of want to avoid getting to that breaking point where you're, you know, you're, you're completely stressed and it's just like, this is the last straw. You will kind of want to, uh, I suppose, think about it um, and look for those signals uh, and identify it before it becomes like a no brainer risk decision. Like let's try to make that before. So it doesn't get to a breaking point. Yeah. Yeah. And there, don't you find Liam that sometimes there is this um, sort of community belief that we've just got to keep pushing, pushing, pushing because we're entrepreneurs. And if you hang out in the wrong circles, well, maybe not even the wrong circles, but if you hang out in certain circles, that's what you're going to know and believe. And you don't have to get to that breaking point. So watch for that. Are you getting tired? Are you getting sick? Um, are, the, are the opportunities coming to you? And it, it, can you actually make it as a full-time entrepreneur? Or, or if you're a full-time entrepreneur, can you take that next leap that, you know, your coach is telling you it's time to take um, or that you see other people take as well?